everybody and welcome to Rosie's Tips. Today we are going to be making fresh delicious almond milk. You could use almond milk for many things. In my case I've been making it lately because I love using it in our smoothies just to get extra minerals and vitamins out of it. Um, also you can use it for your children if you want to get them slowly off dairy and you want to introduce another uh, form of milk. Almond milk is one of the best things you could do to substitute dairy and you could also make it the way I'm making it today is very delicious and sweet. This is how you can make it so it, the children could enjoy it more. The reason I um, like making my almond milk is because in the stores, the almond milks usually have uh, other preserves and too many ingredients that are uh, not so healthy for us. And this is probably the freshest and the healthiest way you could do it. I usually buy a big bag of uh, raw almonds. Make sure they're not roasted, they're raw. And I soak them. So I keep my bag in the refrigerator because it keeps my almonds a little bit fresher longer. But if I was to sprout them, I would um, soak them in a different way. And I'll talk about that in another video. But what I have here is I soaked my almonds overnight for about between 12 to 14 hours. In the morning, I got up and I uh, rinsed them. And when you see them in the morning, they're going to have like a white cloudy water. The water's going to be cloudy and the reason we soak them and the reason the water gets like that is because the almonds have an enzyme inhibitor on the skin that protects the the almond till it's full growth for for uh, optimal nutrition so what happens when you soak them the it starts releasing that uh, enzyme inhibitor off the skin and it makes the almond more um, softer and it makes it easy for us to digest digest it and it also makes those enzymes digestible so they could actually help us with uh, absorption of fat and other uh, minerals in our body it also almonds are very healthy high in magnesium calcium and all kinds of great minerals it's also an anti-cancer um, not it fights cancer so it's just extremely healthy I mean you guys could look up all the minerals and stuff in almonds that are just very healthy for us also what you're gonna need to do is wash your hands very well with an antibacterial soap and what I also do is I get um, a little nail brush and I brush the insides of my nails very well just so you because you're going to be using your hands to um, make the almond milk so let's go over the things that you're going to need you're going to need a bowl i have a pyrex uh, measuring bowl here you're going to need a nut bag which you could purchase these i purchased them online on amazon um you could purchase them i guess bed bath and beyond but i noticed that they're a little bit cheaper in, um, on amazon online you're going to need um, one cup of almonds, soaked almonds. You're going to need three dates, one tablespoon of vanilla, and a pinch of salt. Okay? So we're going to get started. Oh, also four cups of water per one cup of almond. I don't like it right away. So I'm going to get my cup of almonds right here. Let's get that excess water out and when you store your almonds in the refrigerator um, every day kind of change the water because you'll notice more of the enzyme inhibitors are going to be stripping away from the skin and um, you could just keep changing the water so they could last longer in the refrigerator so we're going to go ahead and put our almonds in the cold water we're going to put our three dates in there Actually, uh, I think it was supposed to be about two cups. I'm sorry, I have this recipe a little bit, a little bit wrong. 
song because I used to cut stuff that I remember. There we go. And you could also make this a little creamier. And I could have done it with the one cup of uh, almonds, but you could. The reason I do it with two cups is because I want it thicker and creamier. If you, if I would have done it with the one cup of almonds, it would have just been thinner and lighter. So depending on how your children like the the, if they like a thicker creamy, your would be, consistency would be like whole milk. If you want like two percent, one percent milk taste here, you could um, use just one cup of uh, almonds. Okay, and then the tablespoon of vanilla. Yeah, I make it, I, sometimes I use one cup, but I use less dates. Since I use three dates is when I use two cups of uh, almonds. And then a pinch of, pinch of salt, Himalaya pink salt there. Let's get this out of the way. And I'm going to blend this. You're going to blend this in your high speed blender or your Nutribullet 900 like I have. You're going to blend it for approximately one to two minutes, okay? And you'll be able to see how long it'll take. So I'll be right back after I uh, finish blending this. And okay, I'm done blending it. And like I said, you can um, put more cold water to make it a little bit runnier. And the less water it has, it's a little thicker and creamier, which that's what I did. I made mine a little thicker and creamier. Because I started originally uh, with the one cup of almonds and I moved it up to two cups of almond. So now the next step is very easy. You're going to get your mixture here and you are going to pour it into your nut bag. Let's see if my nut bag's going to stay still for me to pour it in there. Pour it all in there. And this is why you need to really wash your hands really, really good. So as you can see, it's starting to pour down in the bottom, just like this. So you want it to pour, and as it's pouring, you're going to be just kind of helping it at the bottom like this. It's funny, it's almost like milking a cow. <laughs> but you're milking uh, a nut, <laughs> not a cow. So you could get some delicious milk. Oh, this looks really good. It looks creamy. All out. And I suggest that you start from the bottom and squeeze it at the bottom like this. Don't go to the top because you don't want it spilling all over the place, just like this. And I'll be right back as soon as I'm done with the whole thing. This is a great alternative. So I'm gonna taste and see what it tastes like. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, that's so delicious, so sweet. Oh, that's good. Mmm. You could taste the vanilla, the slight sweetness of the date. If you don't like yours this sweet, because it's kind of sweet but delicious, you could add less dates. This one came out so good. And I would say it tastes like 100% whole milk more than the... 2% or the 1%. So what I do is this is my almond uh, jar. I just washed it earlier. Still smells like almond. What I do is I pour this in here and I refrigerate it and I use it for my shakes or whatever. But I try not to make more than this so I can keep making it fresh. And I'm going to put this aside. Oh, that's so good. I'm going to take another sip. <laughs> Yummy. And I'm going to show you what I do with the pulp. So, what I do with the pulp is I use, I save it, and I use it in my other recipes. So, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. It looks like just dry, almost 
like dry clay, like a Play-Doh. You can wash these nut bags also with um, dish soap really good and rinse them in the sink and then just hang them to dry somewhere. So there it is. Here is all the pulp from the almond milk. It tastes really good. So what I do with this, I'll freeze it in saran wraps. I'll put a saran wrap and I'll freeze it really good airtight and keep it in the freezer. And what I do with this, I'll use it in my recipes. When I make a crust made out of dates and, and nuts, I'll put this in there or figs with dates. And I'll put this in there and it makes a really delicious crust for my fruit tarts or fruit cakes or carrot cakes that I do from pulp that I use, uh, that comes out of my carrot juice. This is a great thing to put in there to add some more nutrition and a delicious texture on your pie crust and cake crust. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys, this will encourage you guys to make your fresh almond milk for your recipes or for your coffee creamers or whatever you like to use it and i hope you guys give me a like thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel so i can continue to bring more healthy ways of incorporating fruits and vegetables in your diet thank you you guys have a wonderful day